Hello. It's me, Robin. I stream video games sometimes, like right now. I'm also a little bit sleepy, so we'll see how this goes. But I don't have much of the regular levels left, so I, I kind of want to see if I can do all of the Poochie stuff I haven't done yet. And then the last few levels. How many Poochie levels have I not done? A lot. I guess. Oh well. I'll just go and see what happens. But yeah, hello, welcome back to Yoshi's Crafted World. It's a very nice game. Let's see where these dogs go. Oh, right. This is the shooting gallery level with the moles. God dang it. <laughs> also, I'm supposed to be collecting souvenirs of cabbages, and I did that on accident. Newspaper. I feel like the reverse side of a level where you don't need to shoot everything with eggs is giving me a lot more eggs than the normal side of the level where you do need to shoot everything with eggs was. But that's kind of silly. I've been playing this game a little bit when I'm not streaming to try and get like things that I missed and do the scavenger hunt stuff. And for that I've been using the mellow mode feature actually, which I might show a little bit of because it's interesting. It does make the game more mellow for sure, as you would guess. It does a little bit to help out with a few complaints that I have too. Like, enemies are worth two eggs instead of one in Mellow. Red coins are more clearly marked. The game tells you when there's flowers in your buy. And you can hover, which also allows you to fly upwards to some degree. So there aren't any points of no return in Mellow mode because you can just fly back up. Hello! Also, the game doesn't penalize you at all for doing mellow mode, which is nice. <laughs> Casual mode does not give Yoshi a gun. <laughs> that would be silly. I hear that pop. Ah. Uh. Dang it. Dang it. Oh, please, no! Game. <laughs> I. Mm. <laughs> Good start. I did say I was sleepy, so I'm gonna blame it on that. Speaking of puppies. Uh, 
Yeah, I can't even die, you're right. There's not checkpoints either. So I could have restarted, but this level is really slow. Because it's an auto-scroller. <laughs> Don't make me do your janky 3D aiming while I have a time limit, please? Unless, like... I don't know. <laughs> I don't... I mean... Do I really want to do that again? Fine. It's gonna bother me. I think all three of those were missable because they all require aiming with the auto scroll. I mean, of course, but. I probably don't need these flowers. I'm not entirely sure if I want this to be the last stream or not. You know what? Let's actually just do that. Yoshi also makes a cuter noise when hovering in mellow mode, so it's objectively better. What am I doing? Yeah, you can hover, enemies give you two eggs. Like so. There aren't red coins or flowers in this particular level, so that part won't be evident. Because this is the uh, puppy mode. You can aim at things a little faster. Because you don't have to aim directly at the thing, you have to, like, angle toward the thing. But that doesn't help at all if you're not aiming at something that's on the same plane as you, so... That's still a thing. There's also, like, a couple cabbages I didn't see... ...somewhere. But yeah, it's, it's kind of just nice to... I mean, the game's pretty chill already, but it's pretty nice to just sort of... chill harder. I don't know. Also, if you're doing the scavenger hunt... Um, you can't get the same thing twice, because they're already marked, as you can see. Uh, I don't know if I finished a thought from earlier where I was saying that I don't know if I want this to be the final stream because there's a chance that I might just feel like doing a really relaxed stream and doing the scavenger hunts and stuff. Oh no, not the FBI. <laughs> that sounds weird without seeing the chat. But it, it's funny without the context, too. I think on Mellow Mode, things also give you more leniency with like their timing challenges, but I'm not 100% sure on that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's post-completion content as well. So if this isn't the final stream, I'll just say the next one will be probably titled like, definitely the final stream. Or probably you're the final stream, or something like that. No, not again! Jeez. Okay. I think you also take less damage in mellow mode, but costumes take the same amount. Because they've got a set number of hits instead of hearts. Oh, there's one. 
<clears throat> the background aiming is a bit janky, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, as I said, if you need to aim on the same plane that Yoshi is on, then it's easier. The hitboxes probably should be more generous. Heck, maybe even gyro control would help, but that's not an option. At least I'm pretty sure it's not an option. And I missed a cabbage somewhere. But or yeah, or a button to like aim foreground and background. <laughs> How is it legal for Nintendo to put out a game without gyro control? Hmm. Well, let's see. At least it's easy to see what courses you need to work on. I'm not going to stress out too much if I don't get the completion time flower on the Poochie Pups right now. But I do want to at least get all of the pups, probably. Oh, that's annoying. Little. This level was annoying to find the few red coins I was missing on. They were hovering above one of the destructible platforms, like in the sky, so if you'd already destroyed the platforms, you had no idea of telling where they were. Or no way to tell where they were. I haven't heard a dog yet. There's one. Also, you don't just you cannot destroy these sand platforms with projectiles, they have to be ground smashed or dino scald. There's a dog in a hole. I really hate dealing with this enemy too, because I don't think they're destroyable in any way. Also, I guess I'm keeping mellow mode on, at least for now. Whoops. Also, there's no way to easily get rid of this skull if you need to. Which is kind of a pain. You have to find specific setups of platforms. Like this. What is that? I thought there was an object there for some reason. Yeah, they're not even destroyed by the checkpoint. <laughs> That's silly. That wasn't on time? I didn't slow down at all. What? Wow, that one's strict. Kinda. Guess you have to stick with the skull. 
Yeah, eight seconds. I said I wasn't going to care about the time. <laughs> but I guess I am. Yeah, there aren't very many coins at all in the backside. Ah. It's the aiming at the really small targets in the background thing. That's the most bothersome. Alright, now I know I don't need an egg to get the last one. So if you just know what's coming, then it doesn't take me longer. I guess is the is the moral of the story. Still kind of a tight time on that, relatively speaking. I have no idea how this one is going to work backwards. <laughs> but I bet I won't like it. So you are still here. Never mind. <laughs> I don't like this this level. It's very rude. So I guess I can just infinitely sling Poochie at this creature. I guess I didn't really need Mellow for this, but...
No, you don't need to hit the Skelosaurus in the head, you can just hit them anyway. I probably missed one of the camels. No big deal. Oops. By the way, that doesn't do anything during this part. It just gets you killed. <laughs> It'd be funny if I didn't get it in the time limit because it had to like process the damage animation when it was supposed to be yelling at me. But I don't think they would... Oh wow, they give you a lot of extra time actually. Okay. I don't know why I feel worse about using mellow mode on camera than I do otherwise. Here's a Yoshi dressed like a cupcake. Gotta find those poochie pups. Very important. It doesn't... The game calls it a cupcake. I guess it's hard to craft a cupcake. But, eh? Eh? Okay. <laughs> what? I have to be in front of this thing to make it go forward because it's trying to go backwards or something. Oh, they don't like that. I guess I don't need to go up there, probably. This is one of those levels that's kind of more about puzzle solving, but all the puzzles are already solved when you go through it backwards. Thought so. So that's weird. In a way. Ah, nah. Screw you, game. Trying to make me do a platforming segment that's designed to work forwards and not accounting for the backwards bit. I guess it is kind of a logic puzzle. That makes sense. Oh, okay. 
Maybe I'll just leave Bellow Mode on. Who cares, really? Other than all of those people who care a lot about game difficulty options not... Or game difficulty options being a thing. Mellow mode is appropriate for me, because I'm mellow as heck. <laughs> I kind of wish you could get the benefits of a costume without wearing a costume. Which might be a weird thing. But like... I mean, I care about difficulty options being a thing in the sense that I l want them to be a thing. But there are a lot of people who get mad when you don't play the game on a certain difficulty or whatever. But anyway, um... I kind of wish you could not have to wear the costumes because I don't... They're really chunky. I mean, they're cute sometimes, but they're, they're chunky. I just want to... Be Yoshi, maybe? These plants, I guess you can run under them. I was being extra careful when I was playing the stage properly, or on the first time. Where's dog? There's dog. Whoops. Oh wait. I think that's a monkey though, right? Yeah, it is. I guess you can just run past them. Which is nice to know. Oh. <laughs> wow, the, the spore puffs give you an egg. Mellow. I'm pretty sure they don't usually. Where is dog? I feel like I'm. I might miss. I might be missing the pooch. Oh, no, no, there they are. Oh, maybe they don't give you an egg. Weird. Well, I mean... Maybe I have maximum egg? If the poochies count? I think I do. Hooray! <laughs> that rock in the background is painted like a bear. Yeah, they don't have, like, any coins in these back side levels, do they? <laughs> now time for Pirate Dog. Where will dog be in pirate land? Yahoo! All right, this part. Um. All oh, right, yeah, that part of this part. I don't have any eggs yet.
this is really kind of relaxing music for pirate cannon level, I guess. Take that crab. Yeah, I had to shoot a dock with a cannon. Whoops. Doesn't forward. Okay. One good thing about the chunkiness of the costumes, perhaps, is that um, you can't really see the mellow mode wings, so nobody knows I'm cheating. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know why I did that. It's completely unnecessary. Bark, bark. <laughs> Get off that monkey. You don't know where that monkey has been. Probably in the exact same place that they are. But, you know. What's up here again? Yeah. What's my time limit on this state? 30. Good grief, that was close. <laughs> they don't really give you time to go off the beaten path at all. But sometimes there is a dog there. Ice Togs. This was one of my favorite levels, I think, so... Let's see it backwards. <laughs> and sniffle a lot, repeatedly. Keep doing that. Poochie, no. Don't do that. I guess I need eggs. At least a little bit. I guess it's incorrect to call all of the poochies, or all of the poochie pups, poochie. Like I've been doing.
I don't know if they have names. This level is really cute. Even backwards. <laughs> Wait. Ah, yes. Go up here. That was confusing for a second. I heard that. <laughs> Hanging onto an icicle seems dangerous. That music reminds me a bit of Animal Crossing. It might be the whistling. I think I said that when I played this forwards. I probably said it a few times during this game, though. They were more generous with the time on that one, but maybe it just feels that way because there weren't as many side paths. Costumes do we have? Some of these are not very impressive, like this pile of paper. <laughs> Let's just be paper, I guess. Let's be a tangle. One of them is just like foam box. Or stuff like that. <laughs> this Halloween I'm going into the polygons. I like that. I liked this whole world, too. Oh yeah, it has the elevator stuff. But wait, is this already solved, too? What? Hey. What? Oh, you have to go back down, don't you? Okay. That's just a little confusingly oriented. Where's that pup? Oh, I see. I don't remember how to get down there, though. <laughs> Remember how this works forwards, and it's really confusing backwards, actually. Hmm. Okay, right, it has the flippy doors. Oh. I I'm glad the Poochie came to join me, though. Oh, I needed this, didn't I? I'm definitely not getting the time limit here. 
Because I didn't know how this level worked. Wait. What am I looking at? Ah! <laughs> Deceptive doors indeed. Wait, there's more flippy doors, probably. Or I go up here? This doesn't work backwards, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know... I feel like there's a good parallel that I could draw to this. But I sure as heck can't think of what it is. I'm already... I've already lost the time. Yeah, ultimate ninja technique. Obstruct the camera. That sounds about right. That's kind of funny, though. So you just have to n understand what you're looking at when it doesn't make sense, and then you can do that on time. I'm not gonna bother right now. Oh, this is another auto scrolly thing. But it had the full. Will I not have to deal with the folding screens at all? Will they be like behind me? That'll be interesting. The shoji, I guess, is what they're called. <laughs> yeah, everything's just going to be in plain view. What? Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> Are these fold back up? I never realized that. Wait, it, maybe they don't normally? Is that a mellow mode thing? I don't know. But that's a scavenger thing. Oh. <laughs> Wasn't even paying attention too much. How do you how do you do that? Poochie pop how are you upside down? That's not what dogs do. Well okay, actually kind of sometimes it is. I've seen upside down dogs before. You don't even get coins for like hitting scavenger objects. 
in this mode. What? What? No way. That's incredibly rude. such a small space and such a small window of time to understand what's happening. I guess they have to make the auto-scrolling Poochie Pups harder somehow? I don't like it. I almost wonder if ground pounding the platforms that fold down and drop you should make them do it faster. Oh, I guess that one there's a limited time too because the screens close. So that's a little rude as well. That bonsai down there is also a scavenger object. Yeah, you have to be in exactly the right place for that one. Oh no, my pile of nonsense. <laughs> yeah, I think Yoshi looks a lot better as just a Yoshi than rather than as a Yoshi wearing a cardboard. Perhaps a controversial opinion, I'm not sure. Costumes are really useful, but they're also kind of not great looking most of the time. Oh well. Hmm. Maybe I'll just continue the game. I don't like doing too many poochy things in a row. There's definitely going to be post-game. I feel. So. so for the final areas, I want to be OG Green Yoshi and use the robot Green Yoshi to be appropriately um, geared up for a final confrontation, I guess. Be afraid of the dark. I'm also going to do the regular levels, at least in classic instead of mellow. Because I can do that.
Oh, Yoshi's afraid again. It ends how it began? Kind of. If he sees you, run away. Oh, okay. What is this? Are you talking about the clown? Hello, clown. You sure frickin' are. Where, where, where'd he go? Oh, okay. So, okay, there's a clown with an axe now. This is a video game for small children about a dinosaur made out of crafts. Sometimes there's an axe murderer clown in it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. So what is this, like one of those edgy Mario ROM hacks? Oh, you're still there. I guess you're just gonna be there. So I can't really backtrack. Oh. Hello. Can't really run away when I have to go through the... Wait, are you afraid of the light? Maybe? Okay, you can't tell that I'm there when I'm in the light. In fact, yeah, okay. So they're axe murderer clowns that don't like the light. Hello, axe murderer clown that doesn't like the light. TM. Thank you for chopping the box for me. Egging them does not do anything. Also, you cannot jump on them. Oh, that's mean. Why you put why you put coin there? <laughs> I feel like I've definitely missed some coins from the previous clown boxes that were around. so hard for me to parse. Whoops. I think I can still get up there. I know some of your tricks, game. Some of them. Is there anything up? It doesn't look like you can get in there or anything. Hello, axe murderer clown. Okay. So you can jump on their head in it, some circumstances, at the very least. Axe murderer clown is nobody's friend. It's an axe murdering clown. Get away from that. Okay. That's my song. I guess. What am I doing? Oh no. It's the convention of them. That's what you call like a group of them in the wild is a convention. So just two or more axe murdering clowns. Trying to be too hasty. Oh. oh. <laughs> now see that's a that's definitely a convention of them. Hey, what's this robot? I like that robot. He'll come from behind. Oh, yes, he will. Okay. Excuse me, sir. You're in the way a little bit. Oh, there's a present. 
I like presents. Um, this is the axe murdering death clown level of Yoshi. You know, there's always one of those, right? Why did they make this? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> that yeah, the text box is something. The first text box was like that too. It, that, that's exactly what I said. Even it feels like an edgy Mario ROM hack. Uh, I only had one egg. R.I.P. What did you even want from me there? There was egg here, but it was in front of the thing. Clown. R.I.P. and Pagliacci, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a shooting gallery, and I didn't even see the correct flower. I also only had one egg because I didn't think about that too hard. Oh, come on now. Don't eat apples when there's a axe-murdering clown. Wait, I got them all! But Yoshi didn't swallow the last one fast enough for it to count. What is this game, sometimes? I swear. <laughs> These clowns are a little bit too in the way for what this game wants, mechanically, I think. I mean, this is one of the last levels of the game before the... What? Okay, that's a hitbox, too. These noises that they're making as well. Okay, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Clowns, I got it. I understand. Even the heart has an evil grin. <coughs> Amusingly, I got most of the red coins and had all my health at the end. They're too large, I think, is the thing with the clowns. Gee, I hope I can buy a terrifying axe murderer clown costume. Skulking around. Yeah. It's a lot like those um, enemies from earlier that were the shy guys and little dinosaur skulls. Except worse, and there's more of them when they're already worse. <laughs> Yoshi's not afraid anymore. This is just the dark, sneaky level. Not to be afraid. Oh, is this a stealth level? Sure is. I wanted to get caught. Are you going to explode or something? Oh, you just tackle me and then die. How strange. Everyone loves stealth gimmick. I can't aim worth the crap, and there's not an egg. <laughs> I'm good at video game. There's also a Poochie or a Goonie back there. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I want to... That's really difficult to jump up into, actually. <laughs> I don't even care. <laughs> I care, but not about what you think I care about. I was trying to aim at the thing, so I released the egg when I thought I would be targeting it, but it was too early. And so, 
It did not do the thing. <laughs> and they only give you like three eggs total. I bet that's just like health or something too. Yeah, I know you're not blaming me. I was just explaining it in case it wasn't clear. Oh no. Oh no. I got caught by the cone men. Not, that's not a cone. It's like a cup shape. This doesn't... These feel less in the way than the clowns did. And you can avoid these. And they're destructible. I mean, they're getting closer to breaking my costume and everything, but, you know. Okay, they broke it. So maybe they're not less in the way than the clowns. Hey, I remember that flower pot from Yoshi's Island. This is like a museum kind of thing. Bark, dog, dog, bark, bark. I don't even care. <laughs> I should probably care more. I might die. Redoing these levels later on Melon Mood to get this stuff is gonna be... Oh, please. Oh, and those are 3D too. And you don't have any time. What on the butt is going on here? This game is extremely mean now. Like on these last few levels. Okay. <laughs> Let's pretend I meant to do that. Okay, eggs don't work on those. Oh. <laughs> well. Nope. Okay, so checkpoints give you like a quarter of your health back. Hey, what are you doing there? Totem pole of shy guys that I don't even have the eggs to deal with. <laughs> In case it means anything. Oh. And they jump too, by the way. <laughs> That's my second death in the entire game. I think. Died a lot more in Wooly World because I wanted to get the stuff. So you're gonna go up, right? Okay. Oh, what? You can't. Um, Alright. I thought maybe I would be safe there. But no. Yeah, I think the other death was probably the Skelosaurus. You're probably right. Okay, there's like way too many of these and not a good way to turn them off. So they just went overboard at the end of the game here. I mean, yeah, you're supposed to be punished for, for like failing to hide or whatever, but... Still, I think it's a bit much. We're almost at the goal there. I barely got anything, I think. One flower, 14 of the coins, half of my health. I don't like that level.
Yeah, it basically punishes you by making the level impossible. Not impossible, but like a thousand times harder. I don't know about that. So what's this third one? Then. Mr. Geary's Factory. Okay. <laughs> So, axe murder, clowns, security, robot, stealth, madness, and Mr. Geary's Fun Time Factory for the children. The stealth level backwards will be an experience, I'm sure. What does that say? Oh, Starbeans Coffee. Okay, we've seen that before. Yeah, it's not a fun time factory yet, but just like Mr. Geary is kind of the opposite of an axe murderer in like the tone that the name conveys, maybe. Not that the clowns are actually given that name. Oh, it's the smushy level. Let's try some scientific science. Okay, it just does one damage. Oh, this is at least different le music from the last two levels. But yeah, this game doesn't have nearly as many tracks as uh, Woolly World did. Apparently. I never really realized that. Wait, do you lose the Poochie Pups if you get sm smushed too? I didn't know that. Oh, Shy Guys with cannons. Have we seen those? Before? Yeah, I think we have. Ah, uh, the wah 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 bit. Yeah. That part. Hey, I got the flower too. Nice. Uh -huh. Is there anything I'm missing? Yeah, probably. Why is that 5 1 pink? I guess there wasn't a reason. I thought this was a vertical auto scroll for a second, but not really. Oh, it is. Oh! Okay, it is actually that thing. Never mind. The roulette block sound effect is the same as the Paper Mario cursor noise? I didn't realize. Oh, come on now. Don't be like that. Hello, did Twitch take a while to give you a message? Oh, thank you for your continued subscription. Here's a mouse. I missed. Okay, so there's a red coin on that one spoke of the wheel. Very sneaky. Oh, okay, so there's upside down fire there. I can't aim while I'm moving in this game. Oh, come on. That's also rude. 
Yeah, it doesn't go through the fire. This game is getting just mean. I guess it's easier to aim while you're moving downwards. That's lava. That's a crush. Where's egg? Where is egg? There is one. Singular egg. They're drying up with the egg economy even more at the end, too. And I can't get back through there. Oh, well. <laughs> it's like they want me to play on mellow mode, so I don't, like, suffer much. I missed. That was my one chance. I blew it. Yay, video games. I guess I could have gotten that easier. I wonder if you can eat the cannonballs that the shy guys fire. Yeah, I did have a second chance. This is reminding me of castles from New Super Mario Bros. Or just like... Mario World, even, at times. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't it be cool if there was a set of items that would help you with certain challenges, like uh, Woolly World had, or Yoshi's Island had? <laughs> I like the Wooly World badge stuff. Like the always have Poochie all the time because he's your best friend badge. Which is the best. Bring back the Poochie badge. There's gonna be a mini boss. Oh, oh. Why did I think you had the egg bed door? Alright, Mr. Geary. I have some complaints about the safety of your factory I would like to file. You again? You're driving me crazy! I won't allow you to go one step further. Okay. What if I just, like, grow wings and fly instead? There's no steps involved there. Oh no. It's Mr. Geary. Probably. Oh. Okay. You're like a tox box. I get you. Okay. What do you want exactly? That's what I figured. Okay. So I just have to hit the, the tape bits. That's fair. Oh, now you move two at a time. This is a reasonable boss fight, at least. Now you're gonna move three at a time, probably, I bet. Oh no. Okay, so you have a different pattern. I just... Alright. Can't spell OSHA without most of Yoshi <laughs> and then an A. <laughs> it's not Yoshi compliant. Oh, is that actually like luck based? Which what is exposed to be shot at? <laughs> hmm. I wonder if this could be Bowser's castle. Oh, a free spin. Oh no, I don't get to be a murder clown. How unfortunate. My dreams are shattered. It's probably best to shatter a dream like that one. It's 
More of a nightmare, really. Barrier! Okay. Yeah, there was one of the security monsters. Hooray! Black coffee creamer. Light bulb. <coughs> okay. I wonder if Bowser's castle is going to be like a proper level. Or just a boss fight? That guy wanted me to talk to him, but I don't care. This one's kind of dressed like Mario. How'd you find your way out here? I followed the one road that exists. I did see something shimmering fall to the ground just over there. Bl I saw that bluish lad zoom through here. I hmm. Is this the same boss fight that is in every Yoshi game at the end? I think this is just the boss. It's okay, I brought my giant robot costume. Oh, okay. How convenient. Oh, why did you bring that here? Don't you recognize the big scary castle when you see it? <laughs> you dinguses. Scree hee hee. Thanks for going to all that trouble to gather these for us. Last we have succeeded, his pushiness will finally see his dreams fulfilled. You didn't need to bring the thing here. There was absolutely no reason to do that. You've been fine doing it the other way every... Yeah. <laughs> they do... I do like the variations on the... Things getting taken from you during your victory animation. Joke. All of our tribulations have been worth this faded day. Oh no. He's hiding. <laughs> Is he just gonna waste the wish on like, I wanna be huge! Of course your stumpiness. Make a wish. Whatever your stinky little heart desires. I want to be a final boss when I grow up. Oh no. Oh, he drew like a little picture. I want the biggest, baddest, most awesomest robot! Oh. Okay. So I was... So it's a little different. It's a giant robot instead of just him being giant. I love the picture he drew. Also, couldn't Kamek have just done this? Probably. <laughs> also, we're totally gonna go go Yoshi fight this giant robot. Oh no! Oh, okay. It's fine if they all get thrown off a cliff. I was just worried about them being in the robot, clearly. This is quite the contraption. With it, with a vaguely Bowser-like silhouette. I guess maybe Kamek can't do this much at once. So there's definitely going to be a Go-Go Yoshi phase during this, right? Kamek just, like, leaves casually off the side. The Great King Bowser. Are you sure about that? <laughs> All right, fair. I can ride this. That's probably going to be important. 
You know, he's just like rooming his little cars around, like he's playing with toy cars. I like this. At least this is a cute version of this concept. What can I even target? Okay, I can target these. Unless the 3D aiming doesn't work. Okay, so I have to hit them multiple times. Cars for hands! That is correct. Alright. I'm glad the robot can have sad eyebrows. Get owned, child! Oh. Is this a Cuphead boss? I think this is similar to one of those. <laughs> oh no, now they're springy. They're hammers. <laughs> squeaky! <laughs> it's squeaky noise. I love it. Can I just eat these? No, okay, there's specific ones that I can eat. And you can sort of skip phases a little bit. Not really, because I guess he would have kept spitting until I hit him anyway. Whee! Oh, I kind of saw that coming. Now, this is reminding me of something, but I'm not sure what. There's definitely a boss that does something really similar at some point somewhere in some game. Which is very descriptive. Oh no! Oh, those hurt? What do you want me to do then? Just hover, I guess? Oh, they bounce different. Oh. Well, at least I don't need to have full health. Oh. Okay. <laughs> What, you don't think this is the biggest, baddest, most awesomest robot? I definitely need more eggs. Okay, just, just checking. Oh, I can egg those. Oh no. Can't eat that. Okay, good. You're supplying me. That can't be it, right? I mean, it could be it, because it's not supposed to be the most difficult game on the planet. <laughs> what have you done to his petulance? Worry not, I will help you. <laughs> yep, okay. Now we're doing the part that they always do. Sun Dreamstone, grant his impishness even more strength. Wow, okay. Listening to that? Oh my, I may have overdone it. <laughs> what? Why does he have a slot machine? Was that like his HP counter? <laughs> Mega Baby Bowser! Well, I guess this is Baby Bowser and not Bowser Jr., so now we know, finally. Is that a slot machine? No. Okay. <laughs> I 
Okay, that's pretty funny. Squeaky! What do you want me to hit? Oh. Is it the squeaky hammer? Why did that... What did... Oh, I have the squeaky hammer! Oh, I'm gonna build, like, a big... thing. Like that. Because it's like... It's as if I was gathering parts for something. Now I have two. What will I make? It's not that bad. I mean, in terms of it being a slow boss fight, I guess. He just has a lot of things that he does and not a lot of vulnerability, period. Maybe it is Bowser Jr. He's just being a mega baby about all of this. Maybe that's the point. Oh, he's still going. Uh, am I, what am I supposed to be doing here? Am I supposed to be targeting something? Oh! Oh, I see. That wasn't clear. I was supposed to be doing something. That's very silly. I get what it's going for now. But I don't know how I was supposed to... I mean, I guess I did figure it out. Oh, I, I looked away for a second and there was a meteor. Yeah, we're pretty much just being really violent towards a child. That's fine. Probably. Oh. Oh, I thought those were above. A depth perception failure. Duh. <laughs> I mean, I guess this is what Yoshi does in every Yoshi game, pretty much. Just violently beating up a small child. Sometimes... Sometimes Yoshi's doing it with a small child. In tow. Oh. I don't know why those meteors just don't... I don't really, like, visually comprehend everything super well. What? I didn't expect that. And why were they color-coded? Red and green. Is this, like, a Mario and Luigi boss fight? Okay. I got it. Um, I think the fire just has a weird hitbox. I almost died. Because I don't comprehend meteors very well. Now go get the stones again. They got rescattered. How dare you do this to his pokiness? Hmm. 
You will pay for this someday. Scree. Okay, bye. Okay, they're all right there. That's convenient. The Yoshis agree that it's convenient. <laughs> and now, what did the Yoshis wish for? And so the Sun Dream Stone was finally restored. Together, the Yoshis dreamed of a post game that they could be returned to their island home. Oh, right. They didn't start there. I mean, they didn't start here. We. <laughs> I wish that one kept spinning. At least the yellow one spun a little more. Super Yoshi Galaxy. It's the music sounding a little Mario Galaxy at this point. Is all. Is the clothesline necessary? I don't know about that. Does Yoshi wear pants? Alright, let's head back home. <laughs> Maglory steals the ship. Oh no! Staff credits. Well, I like this game a lot, so thank you, Good Feel. I think it got really mean towards the end in terms of level design, and it's got a few issues here and there. And I think Woolly World was better in some ways, but this game was pretty charming and like creative, and I liked it. Check out our cool ship. Bowser's probably like, I want the cool ship. Give me the cool ship. Woolly World was better in most ways, you think? Yeah, I think the level design and the mechanics and the rewards and stuff probably were better. But this game was like... It might have had more of that weird thing that I only know how to call charm. But, I don't know, I think this ship is way cooler than the robot, also, actually. I'm glad to have played this. Woolly World was better in terms of gameplay, and like, not visual design and stuff, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's been- see, look, here's Woolly World. It's been a while since I played Woolly World, and my memory's never been good, so I probably am not remembering a lot and taking a lot of it for granted. So I'm not sure. It was really good. They're both really good. I think what I'm... What I'm thinking as far as Woolly World goes is, what I remember is that like its whole thing was mostly wool and cloth and textile things. I think this game has a little more variety in terms of its aesthetics, but I might just not be remembering enough of Woolly World. That's all. Yeah, that's true too. Woolly World did a lot of unraveling and knitting things. Maybe this did inspire Bowser's bear, er, bear ships? Airships. So hey, do you think Yoshi's Island is the post-game world? I bet you a cookie that Yoshi's Island is the post-game world. Maybe. <laughs> Dang it. 
the Yoshis were finally returned home to their peaceful island, and they lived happily ever after. Probably until the next game, at least. Thank you for playing! Aw. I like that. Well, thank you for making. The Hidden Hills appeared. Well, that doesn't sound... You've unlocked boss challenges. New challenges in boss courses. Okay. So I haven't seen the title screen since the start of the game, and I don't know if this has changed over time or if this is the same. <laughs> okay, the hidden hills are just completely unrelated, actually. So those are like the challenge levels, I guess. And there's the airship. <laughs> Hiya, you're Yoshi, yeah? I sure am. Not so. I'm Sprout Blockefeller. Wanna play some hide and seek? I'll go hide so you come find me. Okay. He's hidden in some courses, so it's like the scavenger hunt, but like worldwide, I guess. Alright. Another all on the boat. When you select a thing. I like that. Right. Hide in some places. I figured it'd be one at a time or something. Well, maybe not. I have some sheep. I don't know. You know, I think I'm going to go ahead and save myself a little potential frustration and just switch to mellow mode for the rest of me messing with this game. <laughs> to be honest. I mean, I did most of it in Classic. I was kind of hoping you'd unlock like a new Yoshi or something at some point. That'd be cool. Wait. Oh, there's three flowers here now. Because of the boss challenges. Clear without taking any damage. Clear in a time limit. Attach a magnet when the boss's face is red. So there's little sub-goals for the bosses, I guess. Have a good bagel. Now, how am I supposed to know where the, the robot is? Does it tell you about that at all? Damage. Oh, that's going to be impossible. Strike the meteorite with anyone. I don't know if I'm going to want to bother trying to like 100% this game, because some of it just seems so a little frustrating, to be honest. Maybe there's more to unlock this way, though. Oh, you can get the Bowser and Poochies and some Nintendo Labo. Labo? I think it's Labo. I can only afford one. Toy-Con RC car. Okay. That's cute. There's clearly another thing to the right of the Hidden Hills, though, so I wonder what that is. 
You have sunglasses. I wonder if the clear without taking any damage takes costume damage into account, or if it's separate. <coughs> okay, so you need flowers for every stage in this area. I see. Wonder if I have enough. Probably. Rough rolling. Let's get us through some of the bonus levels. I'm not going to try too hard to find everything, I just want to see what everything else is. Oh, unique music. I didn't expect that, really. I might try a little bit in my own time to like... 100% this, but... Oh, this is really cool looking too, you're right. It's almost like cheating. It is a baby Bowser. I, this would be hard without Mellow, probably. <laughs> I have experienced enough. So when you're in Mellow mode, the red coins are already red. That's one thing that's different. I feel like the boss challenges might be the hardest thing left if I do Mellow Mode, mostly. Because you can just fly. It's no big deal. This would be rough without... Cheating. I'm not cheating, but... Basically what I'm saying is I think I've I've experienced this game enough. I do really like it, but I don't really feel like doing it but hard. You know? It's not like I need to defend myself from anyone, so I don't know why I'm going on about it so long. This is a really nice looking level, though. I don't like that. So you can also like hover in the air and shoot in Mellow, which makes that easy, at least. Like you can just sit here. Fine. I think this game is less about the difficulty and more about just experiencing all the different things that it does. But they definitely know how to make a game hard at some point. But I don't know if they were always intentionally making it as difficult as it was. I'm not sure how you get that without Mellow Mode. Because wouldn't it start falling as soon as you bop the Shy Guy? <laughs> well, I got everything. Alright, how many do you need now? 30. These poor robots don't have very good fuel economy. That's for sure. And there's another one over there. 
under siege. Oh no, it's the security robots again. My favorite friends from the last 30 minutes. <laughs> I guess this is the bonus world music. Oh. But wait. I. Oh, okay, there's Gusty. Fair enough. Ow. Oh, so this is like a giant elevator level then. I guess. Hey, it's me! The flying green Yoshi. I wonder if that's even avoidable. Uh, I guess... Out of the way, Gusty. Oh, I missed a flower already. Oh, that was in the background. Too bad for me, not getting that thing. No siree. Oh well. Okay, I'm not. I'm not really sure that is avoidable in a practical sense. There was a flower somewhere. That was in the background too. Or not targetable. Yeah, I, how, how do you... I guess if I just hover above the level the entire time, maybe that works. Well, now you're supposed to do that, sort of. Oh, are you supposed to gusty hop now? <laughs> I'm not sure what this game wants sometimes. Okay. <laughs> How do you do that backwards? I guess going down. Well, I only got two of the flowers, but whatever. <laughs> Mi -ha -ho. <laughs> Get me one of them costumes. Let me be the piano. It's just a robot. I wanted to be a piano. <laughs> Actually, come to think of it, I wonder if you can... Oh, when it said, I'll go hide in some places, I guess he means literally every single le level in the game, because there's an icon for him everywhere now. Not the poochy parts, just the regular parts, so he's always on the front side. Okay, yeah. 30? Okay. How many are you going to want after this? Loppin' and poppin', that's the level name that you can have. <laughs> that sounds... I don't know what that sounds like, but I'm not sure about it. This music returns. Fair enough. So we've got these things again. 
these were kind of an underutilized but interesting obstacle. So that seems good. Excuse me, while I uh, play the game that way, I guess. Oh, point to that. There's a flower somewhere. There it is, probably. <laughs> Yep, so you can just do this, pretty much. Good thing you don't need solid ground to press down on and then eat something, I guess. Oh, that Kamek looks really silly. I like that. You can actually see the eggs fade out if you get more than you can carry. Didn't Woolly World have badges that like increased egg generation or something like that? Like in in increased the amount you could carry maybe? I feel like it had some kind of thing. Trust me. Fine. Definitely skipping something here. Oh, you can hold the button, too, to, like, maintain height, but if you mash it, then you go higher. Hover strats, or mellow strats, or something like that, I don't know. Sneaky. I kind of expected it. There's a flower somewhere. There it is. Woolly World also had ways to see flowers. I think Poochie detected things for you. The lighting in this level is really nice. So if you activated that at the wrong time, would it be impossible to get these on time? Answer yes, because I couldn't do it, even with Mellow. That's mean. I don't like that.
Actually, no, what do we have over here? You want souvenirs, I guess. I'd love some shrunk plastic baby Bowsers, please. That's okay. <laughs> what is this? 50 flowers. I guess I might not actually have enough for all of this. Also, this is a much smaller hill. As far as I can tell. The view from up here is superb. I can't thank you enough. I live for incredible views. Okay. What is this? Oh, is this like a boss rush thing? Maybe? If it's got the boss question marks and it's a big tower, then it stands to reason that it might be something like that. <laughs> or they're just getting revenge really quickly. Well, 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 I see you made it to my hideout. I'm still in a tizzy over your treatment of his waspishness the other day. Your cruelty knows no end. I'll set you straight myself this time. Okay. Is this like a whole special boss fight? Or... No, this looks like the Tin Can Condor. But with a Magic Koopa hat. Oh no. It's Kamek. So we actually fight Kamek instead of... Huh. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Maybe he's going to act like various different bosses over the course of this. Also, these are clearly falling blocks, so that's dangerous. outrun that. Yep, falling. Do they stay falling? Nope, they come back. I don't remember how or when you fight, you shoot the condor? Okay, so it's a boss rush, but kind of, and in the form of, oh, in, uh, and that's instant death. Okay. Interesting. It's like a boss rush, but you only rush the hits of a boss. Yeah, it's not a normal bottomless pit. It is a wizard pit. You do have a point. I suppose. But you only have to do one hit on each boss. So far. have a uh, weak spot in there. Oh, you're doing this part. Here's your weak spot. Oh, come on. So you're vulnerable during different times. And I missed that shy guy. This is hard. Okay, Kamek. <laughs> Whoops. 
I wonder if these would fall in a pit if I made one of the things go away. <laughs> it's too hard, I don't like it. Why and complain? Wait. Well, I think I don't like it because it relies on the 3D aiming working during situations where things are too dangerous to aim during. So... Well, that was quick. Oh. So you have invincible car hammer hands. It's a good thing I'm in mellow mode. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> so there is a Yoshi segment, but not at, in the same way. What? <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so you have to punch enough of them to get where this is going. By the way, the Go-Go Yoshi is still really hard to control, so... What does it want from me exactly? Do I have to hit all of them? Because I'm clearly not able to... Oh, there it did. Still going. Oh, okay. <laughs> this kind of is a lot better than the real final boss, just because of this part. So rapid punching is definitely the way to do it there. <laughs> that was kind of amazing, actually. Once you got... If it, the, the 3D aiming part is definitely the part of this game that's the most awkward. But I like that bit, for sure. Wizard has been slain. I knew there was going to be a Go Go Yoshi thing somewhere. There had to be. 
You cleared all the courses. <laughs> you got a Kamek. You can now play the boss challenge in the Kamek Kerfuffle course. Yoshi, you're stellar. I watched the entirety of your battle from here. I was so enwrapped that I completely forgot to feed myself. And he died. So there's something more if I give you, like, a lot? What say to giving me 317 smiley flowers? Ah. Okay, so there's a 100% completion reward, then. Is that what you're saying, then? Eh? I bet it's not worth it. <laughs> I, I don't have that many. So without damage and without platforms falling and in the time limit, the bosses are definitely the hardest part, I think. You are the worst robot. This is my opinion. I'm Kamek. All right, uh, let's see here. Oh, you think the big, let's see. It's more than, it's far more than three times that you go back to the stages, to be honest. It's way more than that. I'm looking up what the reward is. Can you guess what the reward is? It's one costume! Oh yeah. <laughs> yep! A singular costume. It's a super rare rarity costume of the Sundream Stone. That's it. That's it! That's it. That's the only thing you get. Nothing else. That's it. <laughs> Nothing else. That's all. Just the Sundream Stone as a costume. So yeah, this game, uh, I liked it a lot, but it's really not good at rewarding the player, is probably how I would put it. Um, for an example, I did get all of the souvenir flowers in this area. So if you take a look at this scrapbook, I think it will tell you what level crafts that you've collected are in. So, for a fun exercise, let's see how many times you have to go back to each level in the mines, or the mines in general. One mine, two, three, four. Okay, so it's a little less than I thought, but there's 10 souvenirs in total in that world. So you have to go back to a level for each of those. If you uh, look at the courses, 
you can see all of the stuff that there is. Then like all the poochies. Then this is all the crafts that exist in each world. So you have to go back to say the three levels in Shadowville ten more times after doing them all at least twice. But yeah, give me new Yoshi colors or something. I don't think I'm gonna 100% this game. It doesn't feel worth it. It's not... It wouldn't be fun, really. So, there's 317 flowers left. I've collected 473. So, since I'm not that good at math, let's open a calculator. There's a total of 790 smiley flowers in this game. That's almost as many moons as there are in Mario Odyssey. I guess... That's a little silly, isn't it? But anyway, yeah. This was uh, Yoshi's Crafted World. I'm probably done with this game at this point. I enjoyed it. I just don't think it's very rewarding. No, they should have put this in Yoshi's Crafted World, clearly. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Though I think everyone basically stopped watching already. Um... I will see you again next time, whatever that is. Maybe I'll do more Monster Rancher, though I'm getting a little tired of that. Uh, there's a Splatfest coming up, but I don't know if I'm interested. Who knows? It'll be a mystery for me and you. But yes, thank you for watching and your continued support, and I will see you next time.